So let us look at this question. It was asked in gate 2005. So let us see for the question now. We have suppose there are n processes. Processes are from P1 through Pn, and these processes are sharing m identical resource units. Right? That means we are having some resource, uh, some resource, any particular resource, and this resource is having m identical units for every process. Okay, that means every process sharing m identical units of the same resource. Okay, now which can be reserved and release one at a time. That means these resource resources can be reserved and released one at a time. And the maximum resource requirement for process P i is S i, right? So what they are saying is we have total n processes. Processes are P one, P two, P three, P four. Up to so on, p n, right? And we can represent these processes as every process as p i. So this is p i where the value of i is one. This is p i where the value of i is two. This is p i where the value of i is three. Okay. And e each of these processes have a requirement which is s i, right? So process p r p one required s one resource. Process p two required s two resource. Process P3 required S3 resource. Process P4 required S4 resource. Up to so on. Process Pn required Sn resources. Right. So, which of the following is a sufficient condition for ensuring that deadlock does not occur? That we that means we want to ensure that there should not be any kind of deadlock in this case. Okay. So here you can see. That uh, we have the number of processes are n, the number of resources are from S i, S one, S two, S uh, all these processes are requirement requiring S one, S two, S three up to so on S n resources, right? Now we want to ensure that deadlock does not occur. For that, first of all, let us identify the worst case, or let us identify a case where deadlock can occur, right? So where we can say that, let us say the to process p1 we are giving s1 minus 1 resources to process p2 we are giving s2 minus 1 resources to process p3 we are giving s3 minus 1 resources up to so on to process pn we are giving sn minus 1 resources right so we are giving these many resources to these processes fine now even if we are giving these many resources to these processes still there could be a deadlock right because to every process we are not giving the exact number of resources we are just giving one resource less to every every process still there could be a deadlock now if we add all these terms then it will be s1 minus 1 plus s2 minus 1 plus s3 minus 1 plus up to so on sn minus 1 So even if we have these many resources, there could still be a deadlock. But if we have one more resource, if we just add one more resource to this, we can allocate this one more resource to process P1, or to process P2, or to process P3, or any of the processes. Then after allocating this resource, that process will finish its execution, and the resources uh, which was uh, held by that process, those resources will be released. and when these resources will be released and these resources can be given to other processes hence we can avoid a deadlock right so let me just repeat what what i am saying i am saying if we can give these many resources to these processes then there could still be a deadlock but if we give one more resource then we can avoid the condition of deadlock right and they want to know what is the sufficient condition for ensuring that deadlock does not occur so if we give one more resource to this then it will be a sufficient condition that there, there will not be deadlock now what is this you can see this is s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus s4 up to so on sn and this is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 all these minuses up to so on this is n times and then we have plus 1 okay now this can be written as summation i is equal to 1 to n si and all these can be written as minus n plus 
si minus n plus 1 right that means if we give these many resources then, then there will not be any deadlock fine okay now they are saying there are total m identical resources there are total m resources therefore we can say if m is equal to this if m is equal to this then there will not be any deadlock or we can say if we can say summation i is equal to 1 to n si minus n if m is greater than this if m is greater than this then there will not be any deadlock see i have removed this plus 1 because this plus 1 was saying if we have these many resources then there will not be any deadlock and this is the base condition so here if we have these many resources plus we add more resource to this or we have one or more extra resources then there will not be any deadlock now you can see it can be summation i is equal to 1 to n si should be less than m plus n fine and this is option number c right that means if this condition is met then there will not be any deadlock now if you want to use this plus 1 if we want to use this plus 1 then we can say that this is si plus 1 or uh, then it this condition is m should be greater than or equal to this m should be greater than or equal to this if m is greater than or equal to this then it can be done like this m is greater than or equal to this then there will not be any deadlock and still these two conditions are actually the same right so this is a question which, which was asked in gate 2005